Parking off for beginners. Now that's something I used to dread and uh, I, I couldn't do it and largely the reason I couldn't do it is because I just dived straight in and uh, didn't really know what I was doing. So anyway, this is a brief introduction um, and then we're going to go over to the lathe and do some uh, demonstrations. We're just going to have a look at the tool geometry first. It's not going to take long, I know this bit is probably a bit boring. Um, the first uh, thing is these four are the end profiles that's looking that way onto the tool. The cutting part of the tool is obviously the tip there. Um, these are just some different types, slightly exaggerated as you can see. They're slightly tapered but not to that extent but that just gives you an idea of uh, the, the um, shapes. So anyway these are some of the end profiles that uh, come on uh, parting tools. There's, there's more than that and this is the these three here. They're the, they're the sort of the cross sections if you like. The shape here where it's got a little dip in there and it goes straight off and then there's your cutting angle which is that particular shape. My tool of uh, choice is in fact this one. It's tungsten carbide. It it's um, fairly foolproof from my point of view anyway and it and it's thin I find that the thinner the cutter especially on small stuff um, you know if you cut through a six inch bit of steel then you're not going to use these cutters um, but especially on small stuff that that's my tool that I would go to every time um, this is another version of it but slightly wider maybe use this one for grooving not necessarily for parting off but you can you know it is a parting off tool um, just to try and show you a little bit more closer up geometry of the cuts when you're grinding we've got this little cut out there and what that does that causes the the chips to break off to curl out and break off which is what you want but we'll look at that in a little while um, this is another version of it I think you can just see it there but they're, they're not all like that um, the cross section of my uh, my favourite parting off tool is straight but in in this part of the tool there's little indents which um, cause the chip to curl and break off that, that's part of the makeup of a carbide tip tool this one I think I can show you the um, if you can quite see the end profile you might see it better from there where it's got like the double chamfer which is this one and that that causes the chips to go out to the side um, it's just a normal regular grind that way um, the only thing I find with this one is because how the chips come off they, they fall they, they go into the groove a little bit so you have to keep clearing it out but uh, that's just my experience this one now this is something completely different. This is made out of a little uh, weight, yeah, little scales weight. Um, it's for cutting on the uh, lathe but in the opposite direction. So your work will be coming around this way and it'll be cutting up. Now the reason for that is if the tool digs in as, as the tool's coming round like that, if the tool digs in, it pushes it away. And this goes on um, the back of the uh, cross slide. Um, in conventional cutting, if it was round this, um, I can't do it with that cutter, can I? Right, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, in, in conventional cutting, when the work is coming round this way, if the tool digs in, 
the tool post goes like that and digs into the work rather than being if it, it's cut on the back of the lathe it throws it away from the work but I'll show you those over on the lathe anyway All right let's get over onto the lathe and uh, have a look at some uh, setups and cutting now my preference is to have a fixed tool post so that's fixed so you know everything needs to be absolutely as rigid as possible if you must use your compound because you haven't got a fixed uh, tool post wind your compound back wind your compound back until it's you know flush with the front there and tighten it off get it as rigid as you can make sure your tool post is tightened down make sure your cross slide the gibs are tightened up let's put that out of the way and when you're set up in position when you've got your tool in position to do the cut tighten it down tighten it down so tighten the carriage down you can't tighten the cross slide down because you've got to you know you've got to feed it in tighten the carriage down, tighten everything down, tighten the gibs up slightly on the cross slide so that the tighter you get your lathe the easier you'll find your cutting that really is as simple as that right let's get a tool in the lathe get it set up we'll just uh, do a little bit of cutting so you can see um, what to expect and uh, what you're doing you know maybe maybe if it's going wrong then you've got to change something and hopefully I can help you with that I don't want to make this video too long because I know you just want to get on with it and you want a quick fix um, like everybody does but uh, I, I never used to do um, parting off when I first started because I tried it a few times I got in a terrible muddle with it I just couldn't do it uh, and then I um, kept, kept at it figured it out and now it goes quite smoothly most of the time. Right, I'm only going to use uh, one tool for this demonstration. Now, if you're parting off out here, where's my scale? Um, now this th this piece is um, quite quite sort of stocky piece. It's 15 millimeters and it's sticking out about 40 millimeters but even even at that short distance you're going to get some chatter i'll show you what i mean in a minute um now it's, it's not recommended to um it's not it's not uh, recommended to um part off with the uh, center in but you you can on something like this you know go Go the bulk of the way through and then pull the centre out. Um, you don't want to leave it in for your, your final parting off, otherwise you're going to get in trouble with it. But if, if you're out this far, you need to steady this end because it's just not going to work out otherwise. Um, so you can, you can use your centre, but take it out before you finally cut off. You know, it, you know, Go halfway and then take it out once you've settled into the cut. But um, the key is to get your stock into the chuck as far as possible so what I do if I'm gonna let's say I'm gonna part it off there I'll get the tool in there as close as I can get the tool in there somewhere you know spin your chuck around make sure you're not going to catch anything more importantly make sure you're not going to catch anything once you start feeding in make sure there's nothing further down um, once you start feeding in also I'll just get back to it in a second about setting the tool up but um, that, that's that's where you want to be you want to get your tool in there get your carriage locked off everything's solid that's the most important thing get it solid right now setting the tool up what I do there's, there's loads of ways of setting the tool up obviously it needs to be dead on center get it dead on center otherwise you're you're fighting a losing battle and i use a parallel against the side of the tool up against 
the chuck face or you, you can do it up against the face of the jaws if you want or you can do it if you've just faced the end off you can use that edge but getting your tool exactly right is important because let's just say I know that's exaggerated but let's say your tools going in at an angle well if you're going in at an angle then your tool is coming across the work is it's not going to work out so it's got to be dead on straight right i'm going to show you initially what it's going to look like if it's spinning too fast Spinning too fast, instantly getting chatter and dust. You're just making dust. You're not cutting your way through. You're well, I don't know what you're doing. You're not. You're not doing anything anyway. That, you know, that, that that's what I came across when I first um, started. Right, your best friends when parting off is your oil, your carriage lock, everything as solid as you can get it. I know I keep going on about that, but that really is the key. Slow your speed down, get it right down as low as you can go, and then, you know, increase it as um, your feed rate um, goes. But don't try and cut you know don't try and whiz through there at 100 miles an hour patience you need patience right i'm just going to slow this lathe down it's a bit of a um it's an old lathe anyway it's a, a 1959 myford super 7 so it's it's a belt driven lathe so i have to change the belts and put in the back gear to slow it down so as you can see it's a bit a bit slower now okay so we're slow we're locked down your tip is exactly center and it's sharp it needs to be sharp and then you'll you'll find your parting will go a lot better than uh, it has been right let's go get some oil on carefully feed it in Gently feed it in. Right, this is what you want. This is a sign of a good parting. Little curls, little curls coming off, which means you, you're actually cutting it and, and, and not rubbing your way through. What you don't also want, you don't really want the tool set out this far. But I'm, I'm going to cut it with that just to show you that it can be done. But the closer you get your tool to the end of the holder, the better. Obviously, you need to bear in mind what you're cutting. You don't want to set it back too far that your, your tool holder is going to hit before you've cut through. So anyway, let's get that one cutting through there.
there you go that that's reverse cutting or upside down cutting whatever you want to call it now let me see if i can get some of these chips out of there same sort of thing that they're little curls slightly different shaped curls to the carbide uh, cutter but they're what you want you don't want dust if you've got dust you're not cutting you're just rubbing so this is a, just a high speed steel tool nothing fancy and it's if if it digs in it'll push away from the work because it's on the back whereas on the front tool post if it digs in it forces the tool post into the work so that's the advantage of um, cutting from the back but just gently does it you can see the sort of speeds everything's been in real time you can see the sort of speeds um, I'm hand feeding it in they try and keep a constant feed um, they say you know power feed it in um, for, for beginners um, but most beginners don't have a power feed on the cross slide so gently feed it in try and keep a constant cut if you lose the cut just gently feed it until it bites again don't jam it in because your cuts over at that point well i hope this has helped a few people um i don't really know how better i could have demonstrated it for you i hope i've made it a little bit easier for you but the the key points to take away from this is keep it slow plenty of oil rigidity 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 um and thanks thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button click the subscribe and i'll catch you on the uh, next video keep um tuned for more tips and tricks like this